All right, this is a shout out to Zone RV owners. We're just gonna step through this to show you what we've done in this uh, base 20 foot six. And uh, the big requirement here was uh, to have off-road um, replenishment power. So we've got solar up there now. It's now 9 a.m. in the morning. We're getting 461 watts off the roof. We've got 1160 on the roof. And I think the maximum we're getting at the moment is about 70, 75%. But uh, 461 at nine in the morning and we're still in winter is pretty good. Now, what we've got in this zone, so this is under the seat, you can see here, um, we take out the Red Arc um, gadget over here and the display and we replace that display with the Victron one. We leave everything else in place, all the other 12 volt distributions all in place. And we add in the 48 to 12 units at the back there that are coming across. And then we've got in here uh, three of our 48 volt batteries that's 600 amp hours equivalent, and there's enough room there to add a fourth if the customer wants to add one. So that would then take it up to 800. We've got a 6,000 inverter charger there that only weighs 12 kilos. Uh, so super light stays in there. Tank monitor at the back over there, which is doing the tanks. And um, the advantage of the 6,000 watt is that the solar on the roof is running through that as well. And just to show the roof we've done here, what we've got in the center there are two 400 watt panels. And then these smaller ones here are 90 watts, and we've got our DC to DC under these. So any shading on the 90 watt panels um, is all offset. It's not gonna affect the string at all. And the 400's in the middle of the main uh, power source. So all together there, that's uh, 1160 watts. That got up there. In the summer, he'll comfortably get 1160, 1200 watts off the roof. It'll do more than the name plate uh, in the summer. So pretty slick. And then in the kitchen here, um, and it's a shout out to Zone, they did a fantastic job at the factory for us. Uh, this is matching uh, benchtop material, so you can see it's exactly the same. And so Zone uh, CNC cut that for us and uh, dropped in the induction. And so that's now all electric, it's sitting up a bit higher. If there's any spills or anything, it's gonna flow over under the lower surface, which is what we want. And the microwave is below. Um, let's have a look now at the tanks. So here's our tank display up on the screen and we just do this by swiping. There's the general display. We swipe through to this and you can see we've got tank front, tank metal, tank rear and uh, with the various percentages on there all calibrated and we're all set to go. And so for an all-electric van I have to say, how good's that?